Hello fans, welcome back to BWF. It is your new favorite announcer, Nicholas Grayson, and we are continuing on with the Happenstance Tournament. I mean, favorite announcer might be a stretch. I mean, after all, you're next to me, and also Riley's here. She, she, they, they have to account for something. Yeah, only on Wednesdays. Hey, I'm just going by the text I got from your mother, okay? I didn't under, I didn't realize that the yeah no, I was I was gonna make a joke about my dead mother but that seems a little too dark. <laughs> you, you were about to say I didn't know the dead could text, but hey, you might want to get that checked out, buddy. <laughs> well, now I'm scared. <laughs> now we got a guy with devil horns coming into the ring. Uh, speaking of The Walking Dead. He's just the walking gremlin. <laughs> he kind of looks like the human personification of Scabie, but... He kind of looks like an unbleached asshole. You know, I heard they actually bleach assholes now. <laughs> yes, and he is not one of those. <laughs> but, uh, hey, let's talk about his competitor here for a minute. So, what is her name? I, I, oh, there it is. Marina Delgado. Delgado. Yes. Definitely the fan favorite of this match, so... I mean, she is the most brightly colored, hands down. I mean, she might just be the most brightly colored person in BWF, period. Um, I don't know. I'm on the roster. Or, no, Helena's on the roster. <laughs> oh, do you have a secret wardrobe you haven't told us about? <laughs> no, because, um, no I, I left my old coat behind, but I used to have some very flourish Gaia t-shirts. So, you know. And yes, you... you... Say, that's, a, that's a very conservative pants that you have on over there. <laughs> And you are correct, I forgot about the garish tag team championship that Helena is currently carrying around. Oh, don't remind me of that thing. It kind of looks like one of those old, like, mystery eye puzzles that we used to get in, as kids. And Casey Cash. Oh, big knee. Well, that didn't work out well for him. Kind of looked like Casey might have been daring Sabrina to go to the top rope with him, given that's what she's primarily known for. Yeah, well, it backfired, but now he's in control. Yeah, we found that a bit of a problem, where we will start calling out somebody being in control, and these matches move so quickly that by the time we say, oh, big move, the other person is already making a big move. <laughs> Play quick wrestling. It always paid. It always paid off for me, you know. Attack, attack, attack. Oh yeah, BWF has some of the most athletic people in probably professional wrestling history currently on the roster. AC Cash is absolutely vicious in the early going, showing that he does not need weapons to get the job done. Well, especially since there are disqualifications in this match, I certainly hope he can get the match done without weapon, or else he's not moving on. I believe the fans would be okay with that. Although, who cares what they think? <laughs> uh, certainly, I think Sabrina would be quite happy with that outcome, too. But I also feel like she would rather get the win you know, through pinfall or submission and not, you know, because Casey couldn't stop himself from cheating. Or apparently right. wasn't good enough to stop himself getting caught. <laughs> that is the well. most important thing when, when you cheat. I'm not saying don't to cheat. I'm just saying don't get caught doing it. Yeah, Casey has a history of not exactly cheating. He's going to cause the damage when he's allowed to cause the damage. And he doesn't always need weapons to cause damage. No, he has proved big cutter from Casey Cash. He has proven uh, on many occasions that he is more than capable of kicking ass without weapons but certainly you put a weapon in his hands and he's only going to be even more dangerous definitely impressive 
so far tonight. That cutter, that was a thing of beauty. It was honestly, I think Casey thought he had the match won there, and truthfully, I did too. A big moonsault from Casey Cash. You don't see that out of him often. No, but it was perfectly executed. So he's got Sabrina down, and he looks like he's contemplating what he wants to do next, probably dreaming of all the very violent things he can do to end this match, and probably wishing that disqualifications were, in fact, not a thing in this match. <laughs> uh, I think if they were, we would have already seen a kendo stick, a chair, some light tubes, maybe a ladder, probably a table, and whatever else his sick, demented mind could think up. I also feel like if that were the case, this match might already be over, because Sabrina Scott not no. oh sorry, Sabrina Delgado, she was Sabrina Scott for like three years in BWF prior, that's how I knew her. Sabrina Delgado, depths absolutely not known as a hardcore wrestler. I don't even know if she's ever been in a match with hardcore wrestling. Casey Cash again, taking some time, just See, staring he's down at his fallen opponent. Yeah, he's just purposely trying not to be an asshole, because you guys are like, well, he can't win without weapons. So he's like, fuck it, I'm going to give her a rest, <laughs> too. I didn't say he can't. Just that he's better when he can use them. I mean, on paper, it's hard to argue that Sabrina Delgado is going to be out-wrestled by Casey Cash. Although he's doing a fairly good job of disputing that right now. She is a former BWF world champion. She won the gauntlet run in 2014. You know, she's proven that she has... Sorry, 2015, I take that back. She's proven that she has what it takes to win when it matters. But since coming back, she has struggled to find that elusive victory. It definitely feels a, a step off tonight, and Casey Cash is taking advantage of that. Well, and with, a, with an opponent like Casey Cash, you can't be off your A game because he is that dangerous at any given point. Throwing some viciousness there with just a simple hamstring crusher. Corner. Uh, I think we all know what we're about to see here. No, he's going to the outside. This might be worse than the crash landing. Oh, good God. He might have broken her own body on the line. I was saying, he might have broken her in half. He might have broken himself in half with that one, too. Oh, hey, high risk, high reward. Sabrina's back up, though. She's refusing to submit to the pain. And a beautiful inverted DDT. She's posing for the fans, but, like, I gotta think that she's not doing great at the moment. No, not at all. No, the plucky hero is definitely against the ropes on this one, but we all know how that works out, right? Right. We're not with them getting their ass kicked. I've seen I've seen hamsters that get backed into a corner and things do not end well. Although this might not end well for the hamster. Oh, good God! Avalanche Spanish fly. There's the crash landing. Casey goes for the cover here. He might have it, but he might also not be done dishing out the punishment in this match yet. See, that's a big mistake. You hit a move like that, you cover, you get the one, two, three. You collect your money, go home. I agree 100%. How many matches have we seen in BWF history, or just professional wrestling history as a whole, where somebody gets cocky and it ends up costing them? You know, simple roll-up. All it takes is one, two, three. I would say anybody can be pinned for three seconds. Although I don't think it's actually ever broken anyone's neck. I mean, that's probably good for the people taking the move. Yes, but it, it really should be called a neck herder, not a neck breaker. Yeah, I gotta admit that doesn't really have the oomph 
factor. True, but I mean, <laughs> it breaks it. It should break it. That's just me. <laughs> same, thing, same thing with the back brake. It's a back harder. <laughs> it's the back sorer. <laughs> Yeah, he's almost taunting Sabrina here. Out of smart oh, move, but... Let's back up. I, I do not like the look on that man's face. And I don't just mean in general. Casey Cash and a comic drop there. Yeah, Casey is systematically dismantling Sabrina Delgado here in Michigan tonight. But a lot of just taking his time, taunting, just letting her get back into this thing. It's like he's letting her recover so he can put her back down again. Oh, the cover. One... No! Sabrina Scott Scott Sabrina Delgado. I keep end. doing that. Has a little bit of life left in her. Now is he gonna hit that big... Oh, here we go again. Going for the second crash back. landing. And he hits it. Beautifully executed. Now make the cover. That has to be it. And there's the win. Casey Cash with an absolute display of dominance. And with that, he moves on to the Happenstance Tournament at Happenstance. Goddamn, you go, Chaos Gremlin! <laughs> he wasn't able to seal the deal last week for the Intercontinental title, but that may be because he had bigger aspirations in mind, because now he's one step closer to becoming the world champion in BWF. Yeah, but if he wants to win that tournament, he's going to have to stop standing around and taunting and waiting. Hit, hit your move, make the cover, get your win, collect your money. Well, let's not forget, he got to the finals of the tournament for the World Championship last October at Ghouls, Ghosts, and Gutbusters. So he's proven he can get through a tournament. Now can he do it again? We'll see. He's got a tough road ahead of him. <laughs> 